they were not making money. Hallelujah. Do not mean that they were not doing what they're supposed to do in the first place. Hallelujah. Amen. Because when somebody sends you for a mission, you don't fulfill that mission and you are there making money, getting married, building houses. Hallelujah. God said they were doing what? They were not doing anything because you're supposed to do what? You're supposed to do what He sent you into this world to do. Hallelujah. Amen. They, but they were there doing nothing at 11 hour. Hallelujah. But the Lord said, the word. He hired them. He called them. He said, What are you doing all this day? Because day, all what you are living is day. In the eyes of God. All your life that you are living. There's a morning time when you are young. There's a moon, noon time. And there's an evening time. It's evening time. Amen. So even at the evening time, the Lord still reached out to some people. Say, it's not late. Hallelujah. Amen. You can still walk in my van yard. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And now we realize with these people, the last people, they didn't ask for any negotiation. You, you see that in the Bible? Did they want to negotiate the, about the price? No. What did they do? They just want to do what? Let me tell you something. You never lead for anyone when you come to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Just pass when you are coming from. Amen. Amen. And don't think that our Lord Jesus doesn't pay. He pay good. Yes. And how he pay is like you don't even have to explain to people how it happened. Hallelujah. Amen. Because even those that were there first, they complain because he paid them more than the people that have negotiated. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you are coming into this church, we are just don't come here because it's a party. Don't come here because it's you want to meet your friend. Come here because you want to take an assignment. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come to this church and take a sermon and work on it. Because the kingdom of God is like it means that when you start working in the kingdom of when you start doing something for God, you are working where? In the for the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So the Lord said it's never late. Even though before you have not been with God, you can see the word. In an, in one hour you can change your story. Say in one hour. I can change my story in one hour I can earn what I have lost all my life in one hour if you make a decision to do what? to change and work for who? for the creator of so why will you waste your time exchanging your one hour for the thing of this world why don't you take one hour a day and talk about God to somebody why do you take all day on your Facebook, on your phone, talking about something that will not help your family? Do you think that is when you have a lot of money that the demon will be afraid of you? Or Satan will respect you? The only time that Satan respects someone when the person is working with God. The only way that the demon can be troubled when you are where? In the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Because he said the kingdom of God is like. It means that if you want to belong to the kingdom of God, you have to do what? You have to walk in the house of God. Amen. You have to do what? Because what you have been doing for yourself, he said they were doing nothing. How will it look like? At the end of the day, all what you have amassed in this world. For your children, children, children. And the same Satan will send you to come and destroy them. Because even most of the deliverance that we have here, you hear that I am the father, father. Is it true? Huh? Yeah. Why is the father, father come again to destroy the same children that he have built, he have given the house? Is it, is it normal? It means that if you are now with God, even when you have passed away, you will be the one even to destroy your children in this world. Amen? 
the house that you have been building, you will be the one to come and do what? And chase your children out of that house. Because when you are now in the kingdom of God, you are in the kingdom of... And when you are in the kingdom of Satan, they, it will not just keep you, it will do what it will use you. Because also, the Lord talk about work. Satan also work. Amen? Hallelujah. So, the, the Bible is saying that one hour was enough for some people to change that story. Will you be that person? Will you be that person? Yes. It doesn't take all, all the dirt. Look at Jesus. When Jesus came to this world at 30, 30 years old, Satan already gave up on him. You know that this one is just like order. Hallelujah. But what happened? What we are enjoying today, how many years did it took him? Three years. Just three years to do what? Change. To frustrate the work of, of Satan. And today we are enjoying his working with, with God. So how many people will enjoy your working with God? Because even today, many people are blessed. And you don't know how they are blessed. They just have money. They don't struggle. Hallelujah. Because of the covenant that the parents have with, with God. The only way that you can be a blessing to your children is not when you have um, keep a lot of money. Or when you have built a lot of building because they will expire. You know that? Hmm? The only way that you can be a blessing to your generation is when you are doing what? You are working with God. And when we are talking about working with God, it's not just come in church and sit down. You come to church to take an instruction. Say instruction. instruction. And you are going to the world to shine. Say shine. shine. Hallelujah. So when you are coming to church, it's to, to take what? Instruction. instruction. Because when you talk about the vineyard, it's talking about the world. It's talking about your family that are dying. It's talking about your friend around you that doesn't know Jesus. Hallelujah. So it's talk about salvation. Say salvation. That's the work of God because there's a joy in heaven. When what happened? When one soul repent. How many? One soul. So will you make God rejoice in heaven? Can you be that one that make heaven rejoice? You think that if heaven rejoice, they will forget about you? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So don't come to church and behave like a Christian. When you go there, you believe, behave like them. You must be the light that shines in the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the light always shines when there's a darkness. Is it true? Mm -hmm. huh? And darkness is the world. How, we, how do you always want to shine among brother? Say there's much work to do. Much work to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because most of us, most of the people, they don't care about somebody dying around them. The real death is not somebody have an accident. The real death when you die when you die spiritually. Because when the Bible talk in the evening, you know what I mean evening somebody? All of us have evening. We have morning. Morning is when you were born. In your evening is where you were. You will do what? You get ready to die, to, to sleep. Say sleep because we don't die. Hallelujah. Now when you wake up the next day, Normally, those that have worked with Jesus, they don't wake up the next day in this world or in hell. You know where they wake up? In heaven. They wake up in heaven. But one hour was enough to do what? To transform their life. To transform their life to wake up where? In heaven. In heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So there are much to do. How many people are, are dying in your family and they don't know Jesus? If Jesus is in the heart of the old world, what will happen to this world? Yeah. This will be heaven. It will be heaven right here. Even in some people's house, they don't have time to share the word of God in their family. Even one hour, they don't have that. But they share money. They share bill. They share everything. They share the house. They share all the things that concern this world. But they don't share anything that concerns the kingdom of God. Why are you acting that you are going? Because when two are together, what does the Bible say? God is in their midst. So you must have also that in your calendar. You must also have at least 30 minutes or one hour. When you call your people, you say, let's share the word of God. Amen. Let's talk about the one that sent us into this world. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Amen. When we travel, we come to this country, we thought that it was heaven, right? Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. We didn't know that demon was here. <laughs> but there are people that are regretting what they have traveled. They, there are people that are even regretting what they bring their children abroad. But if you travel with God, you will never regret. Or if you, there are people that even come to you to, for some money, right? And the day that they came, they were how? When they need money. Huh? Very humble. And you give them. And later on, when you want that money, what happened? Did they pick your phone again? Or the father from say, say that is not here. But while you were doing that, you were doing the right thing, is it true? But is there anybody in this world when you give the word of God and you regret later? No. So the best thing to give to someone is not money. It's not money. Money must follow it. But the first thing must be what? The word, the word of God. If you have business with somebody that doesn't know God or doesn't fear God, you are at risk. You know that? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Say, my God pay. My God pays. Say, it pays good. It pays, it pays good. good. Even though I am the last, you do what? It pays, it pays good. good. Amen. Even make those that was dead who are jealous. But in one condition, if you get into his kingdom, and walk. The kingdom of God is about what? It's about walk. It's not about talk. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you see, if what we are doing here, we don't give ourselves to Jesus. You see, people are dying with demon. You think that when you die with demon in you, you will go to heaven? No. I mean, we, we have to be, because sometimes people think that it's a it's a joke. That's why when you come to the presence of God, pray so that, so that God should deliver you. Because you might not know yourself. You might not know who is inside the house. There might be a billion inside your house. Legion. Hallelujah. You talk about nature. That was just a small number. Amen. You, you, you are coming in the, in the, in the law for, for your children, for your family because believe, the Bible says, believe you shall be saved who and who. Your and you're because when you when you are believed, you do what you begin to share the word of God with them. Not because when you are saved, automatically they are saved. You begin to do what talk to them about God, and they begin to see the difference in you. Hallelujah, amen. amen. So when you are going out today, make up your mind that you will work for God. Don't work for money. Money didn't bring you into this world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't dream just about how you will build a house. It's good. Hallelujah. Amen. But it must not be your priority. Amen. 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 Don't just say, okay, I will give birth to children. That's all what I want. I will give, I will marry to a beautiful wife. That's not all about it. Hallelujah. Amen. But it must be well first. It must be God first. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Eight. Let's read eight. Verse eight. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the workmen and pay them their wages, beginning with the last and ending with the first. Beginning with who? The last. And ending with who? The first. I think I already gave you the case of what he did, right? Huh? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Somebody worked for all day, but you work just for one hour, and you earn the same thing. It is so normal. It means that our God is not fair. Yeah. So who was not fair? Hmm? If you see some some good thing happen to your brother, 
Hallelujah. It has not happened to you yet. Why will you be, will you be jealous? Say, I will not be jealous. I will, not be jealous. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. With those that rejoice. Now, you hear testimony even in the church. Sometimes when people are giving their testimony, you know, some people are not happy. Hmm? Because the Bible says, the Bible says, rejoice with those that rejoice. Because when you rejoice with me, hallelujah, you rejoice with expectation. If this God can be like this for somebody that works for one hour, okay, I will try him tomorrow. This will be my mind. 